Hi, I'm Holly. I'm going to introduce you to the Uglin trap today. This is the Uglin number two. It comes with a full sided cover which can be removed. Once the cover's off, you can obviously see quite easily whether you've caught something or not. To load the trap, you can either remove the plastic floor and put the bedding in that way, or you can unhinge the end and put the bedding in that way. Unlike long width traps, these are operated entirely by gravity. There's a small counterweight so that when an animal goes onto the treadle plate, it tips. To get the animal out, I would normally take the cover off, then put the whole of the trap into the polythene bag, either release the end or partially remove the floor and then you have to encourage the animal out, normally by shaking the trap gently. The advantages and disadvantages of ugly traps are, after some use, they can become quite bent. This can make the cover quite difficult to remove, and as you can see, can affect the mesh on any part of the trap. Another problem is that when you're wearing gloves, there's lots of sharp areas that you can get the glove caught on. Especially if you're trying to put your hand inside to clean it or in the bottom to encourage the animal out of these corners where they frequently get stuck. As with longworths, you can have shrew holes drilled in ugland traps. A further problem with ugland traps is because they're made of mesh I've found that the animals often kick the bedding out through the mesh into the entrance part during the night. Then, because they haven't got the full amount of bedding left, they get too cold and they can die. One of the advantages is that these traps are approximately half the price of Longworth traps. They are also multiple catch traps. This means that more than one animal can go in. Theoretically, as many animals as can fit will go in, although the most I've ever had is three.